Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and today I'm gonna give you a play-by-play -play about what it's like to be an INFJ inside the mind of an INFJ for one day at a spa. So let me know what you think about this new concept for a video and uh, let's see if we can get any more of these out in the future. Okay, so where did I put a voucher? Did I put a voucher somewhere? Did I get a voucher? I, if I did get a voucher, where would I have put it? Okay, let's try there. Okay, great. That's where it was. I did get a voucher. Okay, good. Now I clear that out for myself. So, I'm going to a spa. Uh, what do I need to prepare for the spa? Do I have a towel? Is the towel big enough? Uh, do I have a swimsuit? Is it going to arrive on time? I made a new delivery to get a new swimsuit. But I didn't get any tracking information. Is it coming? Let me see where it is. There is no update yet. Hey H&M, uh, can you check the status of my parcel? Okay, okay, it's gonna be shipped tomorrow. Okay, that's great. <sighs> Whoa, okay, then it should arrive. Okay, if it doesn't arrive, then I will have to go and get it myself at H&M, and then I'll just return the one I ordered. Okay, okay. So, good, I have a plan for that. So, let's see what's gonna happen. Um, I also might need something else. Is there something else? I feel like I've forgotten something important. I feel like there was something else I really needed to get. Oh yeah, slippers. Slippers. <sighs> Do I get slippers? Do these... No, I don't like these slippers. Oh my god, these slippers are horrible. Why did I order these slippers? I... Did I order slippers? Yeah, I did order slippers. Yeah, they're coming. Okay, I see them in the tracking information. Okay. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so... Let's see. Um... I'm going to the spa. Is there something that my girlfriend might need? She might need makeup remover. She might need uh, uh, some uh, tukias for the face. She might need shampoo, conditioner. Uh, maybe I should bring a shower foam. Yeah, I'll bring a shower foam. And uh, is there something else I need to bring? Uh, plastic bags, two of them, because uh, towels might get wet when I go to a sauna or a spa. Um, I also need it for the swimwear afterwards, of course. Okay, that sounds like it should be it. It should be it. I should have everything now. I think I have everything now. Okay, so when I get to the spa, what am I going to do first? Am I going to go in the pool? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go in the pool first and go swimming. Yeah, that sounds the nicest. And then after that, I'll go in the sauna. I don't really like to go in the sauna, but my girlfriend really likes to go in the sauna. So I will go in the sauna. Okay, I'm inside the sauna. Has it been five minutes yet? No, it's been 10 seconds. Okay, I gotta handle this a bit longer. Okay, it's really warm right now. It's way warmer than I like it to be. This is a finished sauna. I'm 50% finished, but I don't like being in the sauna. I really don't like it. I wanna be out of here. Uh, okay, it's doable. It's getting better, it's getting doable. Oh no, there's water on the rocks. It's gonna get really warm here in a few minutes. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I'll see you outside. Uh, leave starts out for the door. Uh, okay, what do I do now while I wait? I don't want to go too far because then she won't find me. Okay, what's that? Okay, it's a cold waterfall. Okay, I'll try that. Oh, I'm gonna go into the cold waterfall. Okay, oh, that's great. Oh, that's really fun. Oh my god, that's really awakening. Oh, I feel so refreshed. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love cold things. Cold things are so much better than warm things. Okay, uh, there is a cold uh, bathtub as well. But there's a guy in there. It's a bit weird for me to just go inside when there's one guy in there. Maybe it's weird. Okay, let me try. Okay, I'm gonna dip my feet in there and see how it feels. Oh no, it's way too cold. Okay, this is more cold than what I like. The the, the waterfall, that was nice, but the tub, I don't know. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, so you're gonna think I'm a bit of a wuss for not getting in there? Uh, hmm, never mind. Let's just sleep. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I'm supposed to wear slippers actually, but my slippers are over there. I left them there. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Is it okay to just walk around like that? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. I see other people walking without it as well sometimes, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. What will I do when I get out of the spa? 
wait a second, I should be enjoying this. I should be, be thinking about that. I should be here for at least three hours. Uh, I should just relax and take it easy and just, uh, you know, really make the best out of it. I should do everything a bit longer than I, my instincts tell me to. Just make the best out of the time here. Okay. What should I do next? Oh, a steam sauna. Oh, okay, 45 degrees. That's half the temperature of the finish sauna. Okay, I can do that. I can do 45 degrees. Okay, let's go. Oh, so much better than the finish sauna. So much better. Oh, but still not good. Still kind of weird. Feels a bit weird. It feels a bit scary to go in there. I barely don't see anything. I only see steam. Are you supposed to... Is steam healthy for you? Is it bad steam? Is it good steam? Can you breathe normally in here? Oh yeah, you can breathe normally in here. Huh. Who would have thought? It tastes a bit weird though. Yeah, the air tastes weird. Yeah, it tastes a bit sour. Salty-ish. Should the air taste something? Hmm. Hmm. It also feels weird to breathe. It feels like when I'm breathing, like there's... Uh, my, my nostrils feel a bit sour. It's weird. But it is, in a way, relaxing. It's quite warm and cozy. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty calm, pretty cozy. Hmm. I can be in here. Oh, you wanna leave? Oh yeah, okay, uh, let's go out. Okay. What's the next sauna? Okay, there is one called an infrared sauna. Okay, let's go in and try that. These things are kind of weird. Is this supposed to feel warm? Because it doesn't feel warm at all. What is that light? Does it do anything? What is infrared light? Does it burn through my skin? It feels kind of like it's burning. Is that supposed to feel that way? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, it says you shouldn't be in there for more than 10 minutes. So apparently this is not good for you. If you do it too long. Okay. Has it been 10 minutes? No. Okay. It automatically start, shuts down after 10 minutes. Okay. So that's where, how I know. What if it doesn't show, shut up though? Hmm. Anyways, I really don't know how, what I'm doing here. It feels really weird to sit there. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave. I wish I could go in a bubble bath. The bubble bath sounds really fun. I really like to go in baths. Baths are amazing. Especially bubble baths. But all of them are full. Every single spot is taken. Okay, so there's something else I gotta do while I wait. What can I do in left? What's this? Oh, that's some kind of a weird cold, cold thorium. What is a cold thorium? Caldarium? I don't even know what to call them. Caldarium. I think that's it. Okay, so you're supposed to lay on a stone brick and look up at the ceiling. Okay, let's do that. That sounds doable. Oh yeah, yeah this feels kind of nice. There's lots of colors here and it smells kind of good. Oh, it's uh, aromatic etheric oils or something. I don't know what that is, but it smells good. Are etheric oils health healthy? I heard somebody say it affects your mood somehow or it inspires you to feel calm or if you use the certain etheric oils, you will feel a certain way. But I have no idea which ones do what or how it works or if it even works. What if it's pseudoscience? Is it real? I don't know. It feels nice though. Yeah, I feel quite relaxed. Yeah, this feels quite calm. I could lay here for a while. Oh no. Oh, I'm becoming too relaxed. I'm falling asleep. Oh, I don't want to fall asleep. That would be weird. I should keep my eyes open. I don't know if I could fall asleep in here though. Hmm. What would happen if I fell asleep here and I woke up after an hour? <laughs> that would be weird. No, that probably isn't good. Uh, I should probably get up. Yeah, I should probably go swimming. Yeah, let's go up and get swimming. Oh, it's something has opened up here. Oh yeah, you can lay down. And uh, it's like a mini bathtub, kind of. But you only have water like up to this high, like just 20, 30 centimeters or something. It's barely enough to cover the body. Okay, let's lay down here. What the hell is up with my swimwear? I don't know what's happening, but uh, constantly 
the water gets stuck in between the fabric and it becomes a big bubble and the big bubble floats to the surface I can't keep my legs down my legs keep floating up and and if I let go then I start drifting and then I start to drifting into people and I don't know I don't want to touch anybody when I'm in here uh, that's weird okay how do I do this can I pop the bubble somehow I start squeezing the fabric of the swimwear but it doesn't work it the bubble just moves to another direction god damn it what is this what's happening oh my god oh my, my girlfriend is laughing at me oh Jesus Christ okay uh, I'm just gonna hold myself down and just ignore it I'm just gonna hold myself down okay I can get a good grip if I lay like this. Mm, that's really not that comfy, but I have no other choice. God damn it! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, okay. I just gotta get used to it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, I can relax like this. Oh, you wanna leave? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let's let's go. Okay. <laughs> uh Hmm. So, what else is there to try? What if there's nothing else to try? That would be kind of boring. I kind of want to do something else as well. Uh, do they have other things here? Uh, this must be bigger, right? Oh, I forgot the map upstairs. So I'm too lazy to go and grab it. Ah, uh, no, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna have to follow the signs and see what I find. Okay, I'll go swimming one more time. It's really nice to go swimming. I really enjoy swimming. Swimming was the only sport that uh, I could be dragged into. You know, by the way, while I was laying in the bathtub, I was thinking. I was thinking about, you know, the four colors, you know, red, green, blue, and yellow. Uh, because the water had the colors red, green, blue, and yellow. And I was thinking, yeah, uh, my girlfriend, she says, um, of the four colors, I am the most like green. I am extremely green, she says. I'm the opposite of blue. And I thought it was interesting because I always thought blue was like the scientist or the nerd or the uh, smart one. And uh, she says I'm the opposite of blue. So she says I'm the agreeable one, the nice one, the calm one, the relaxed one. I guess I don't sound relaxed now when you're inside my mind, but I am quite relaxed, I think. I think when I'm by myself, I'm quite relaxed and uh, I can get stressed around other people. Like I can start uh really worrying and stressing out because I fear that I'm too relaxed. I know that because I'm so relaxed, other people might think I'm apathetic or that I am not going to do anything or that I'm just going to sit around or something. And I guess I fear that, yeah, uh, I'll get punished for it. If I don't do something, I will get punished for it. So, yeah, that's my small neuroticism. That's the reason why I can get nervous sometimes. So yeah, like I do get nervous sometimes, but I think most of the time I'm quite relaxed. So yeah, maybe she's right to say I'm kind of green. I think so at least. I think I relate most to green. I don't think I relate to yellow or red. I also like green as a color. Green is a very calm color. But I also like blue as a color. But if blue is like that, then I don't know if I'm blue. I wonder if I can integrate that with my system somehow. I don't know. It feels like I haven't really been able to get the subtypes train rolling and that I've gotten a bit stuck on it. I mean, uh, while I can give a pretty accurate picture of the types, it's very hard to give an accurate picture of the colors and of the subtypes and of the Enneagram. I've really gotten stuck on the Enneagram and on subtypes. And I really feel like I'm kind of stepping around in a circle and I don't really know how to get out of that anymore. But I do know a lot about the MTI and I still feel that's growing pretty well, so that feels very nice. Am I supposed to think about these things while I'm laying in the bathtub? Am I supposed to enjoy myself? But at the same time, I am the most relaxed when I think about these things. I feel relaxed thinking about it. it philosophy is uh, the most relaxing thing I know. I, I was wondering what gives me energy and philosophy is probably what gives me energy. Philosophical existential thought. Oh, that I could do that for hours. There is nothing better than just doing that. <laughs> I don't have to do anything else. Okay, that's not true. I do have to do other things as well. But yeah, that's the best for me. 
my girlfriend is really beautiful. It feels really nice to be here with her. I'm really glad we went. We should have went earlier. We've been thinking about this for a year. Why haven't we gone before? Oh, that's typically me. I just think about it, but I never do it. I always think about it and then I get stuck on the practical stuff. Like, oh yeah, I want to do it. But when and how and what? And uh, then I have to do this and then I have to do that. And that's that and that's that. And then nothing happens. And that's how it always goes. I really want to plan this out again. Maybe not there immediately, but maybe in December. Maybe in a few months from now I can do this again. Hmm. What day would be best? Probably like in the beginning of December, not in the heat weeks, but just before things get stressful for my girlfriend at work. Like I want some way for me to get her to relax and uh, to stress down because I know how stiff she can get and how stuck she can get and how stressed she can get during the busy season. We should probably just go swimming sometimes, like we should just go to a regular swimming place because that's probably what I enjoy the most uh, with being here. I feel like I should go swimming more often. I go to the gym. Why do I go to the gym when I could go swimming instead? Oh yeah, of course, it's easier to go to the gym. It's closer by and it takes less time and yeah, I can do it whenever I want to. I just have to work immediately and I don't need any planning for it. Still, it's nicer to go swimming. Is there something up there? I think there is something up there. I see people coming in and out and I see people looking a bit warm after they come out. Yeah, they look kind of warm, don't they? There must be a sauna up there. Oh, let's go try that sauna. Oh my God, this is my favorite sauna. Oh, this is the best sauna ever. Oh, this is so cozy. It's a color sauna. So it's like got these uh, funky colors in the ceiling. Oh, my mom has that as well at home. I can't believe my mom has a sauna at home. I can't believe she has a bathtub and a relaxed room with colors and massage tables and all those things. I can't believe she has all those things, a cross trainer, a cross trainer in her living room. Why would the person have that? She's crazy. I really like this one. Oh, there's a person laying down on the top shelf. Is that really comfy? That doesn't look comfy at all. Why would he do that? That's so weird. Well, maybe he likes it. No, I don't think he likes it. I think he just sat down there and then he pretended to like it because now he had committed to it. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't try that. I could easily have done that. Okay, so yeah, that was an INFJ play by play uh, to give you a glimpse of my thought process and my experiences and how I think about and process information. I hope it uh, helped you understand uh, INFJs a little bit better. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching.